Hey everybody, we are at the Unit Brew Brewery in Chambly, so let's rock. You remember Jerry, the master. The there you master. go. How are you folks? Okay, and this is Judy. She's going to be our photographer today. <laughs> and I, yours truly, am all bundled up so that my hair doesn't end up in your beer. So let's rock. Here we go. You know what? Can you stop it? I can't you stop it. Oh, you can't stop? because I wanted to get rid of that. We won't put it on for the other side. This thing. I know, yeah. So. Okay, let's go. Cool. What do we you want to go the other yeah, side? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Note to self, coffee flavored beer is a must. So this is what it looks like back here in Unibrew. You see it's an incredibly clean facility here. And uh, all of the machinery is being cleaned. They're fitting stuff for new packages, uh, boxes that will have 15 bottles in it instead of the customary 24 or 12. 800 bottles a minute on this line. Okay. Unfortunately, so. no packaging today, but we have this packaging line, this bottling line, where we run all the different sizes from the big 750 ml bottle with a cork on it, the small 12 ounce, we have 720 different size of bottles, only on one packaging line. Unfortunately, we're not running the packaging line, so you don't see how fast it's going, but it's 800 bottles a minute. Wow, thank you, Jerry. 800 bottles a minute, man. That's probably how many bottles of beer get drank at the Bloodstock Festival last month in England. That was an awesome festival. Thank you to the people at Bloodstock and to all of our English fans for showing up there. So, I'm gonna check out some more of this incredible machinery here with these beers come flying by 800 a minute. Crazy. Where the magic happens here, that's our brew house. 150 hectoliters, a batch of 4,000 gallons, if you prefer, 128 uh, barrels. And so how big is a hectoliter? An hectoliter is 100 liter. 100 liters. Yeah. You get probably more use in, in US with the barrels or the gallons, you know, but that's pretty much like the, the barrels that, are, that is used as a measurement. But here is 4,000 gallons that would produce every four hours. It That's takes four hours for 4,000 4, gallons, and we keep it continuously 24 hours a day. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Again, absolutely spotless back here. It's beautiful. This is why the beer tastes so good. The attention to detail. So we have... See if you can see in there, guys. That's the lotter ton. So we're at the it's end the of the lottering. That's a filtration ton. So we call it Lotterton, that's a German term. Lotterton? Lotterton, yeah. So we do like the, the uh, all the lottering, the filtration process here. We do pump the uh, clear wort and the cover on the other side here. So that what you see there at the bottom is a spend grain. So we send that to cattle feed. It's still lots of nutrients in there. So we do feed the animals. With that, that is so awesome. So after we make our beer, the remaining product we donate to the farmers to feed their exactly, cattle. Exactly, yeah. What a great thing to do. Yeah, and I'm one of them. That's, that is so beautiful. <laughs> I love this company even more after finding that out. It's amazing being able to donate to the farmers. Here's another one. This is mash time, but you can't really see it because of the condensation in here. See if I can find a little spot where you can look through. It kind of looks like a giant container of whipped cream. Yeah, so this is the mixture of the uh, water and the um, marshmallows. And we do control different steps here at different steps, different temperatures. Uh, and the uh, pH as well, so we want to have specific enzymes to work. To that's basically where we draw the beer, you know. That's so amazing. that's very nice, just drawing the beer like this. So we set the profile of the beer and this done. It's all about biochemistry in this in this thing. Fascinating. All right, now it's picture time, you guys. Check this out. Where are we looking at? Okay. Where do you want to do this? Oh, here. You want to? 
For one second, folks. This one. I'll show them the uh, the match that is going on. Good. There we go. Very cool. Check this guy out. So that's the, as you can see, the kettle. So lots it's of activities kettle. in there. So the wort is boiling. I don't know if you can see very clearly. Well, you can see but, my hand uh, There is an right internal now. calandria. So it's boiling continuously like this for an hour or so. Depends on the recipe. And uh, we will also extract the uh, alpha acids, the bitterness of the beer. And we set the color, the stability of the beer here. And that's also where we had different spices, flowers, herbs, whatever we want to do to make the magic happen in the beer. Awesome, thank you, Jerry. I'm gonna take another picture real quick, you guys. So just hang on one second. Pretty cool, huh? There we go. Nice, I think. Hey, buddy. So I think that's it for all of the different bats that are here, right? Oh, hey, check it out. Maybe we can look inside. Looky, 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 looky. Look at the pH. 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 Why is this upside down all of a sudden? PH. <laughs> Oh, come on. There you go. Cool. Awesome, awesome. Looks like a giant container of mushrooms, too. I hope that's what it is, baby. Yeah, so should I grab my cool outfit? No, that's okay. Get it there. Man, I was just, last minute I was just feeling all stylish in that. <laughs> Doing my best Daniel Craig. So crazy and everything. That's interesting. Lockout, tag out. Stuff. Here's where it is. So you just gotta lay down right under that thing. You stick that in your mouth. And then you pull the handle. No, it's the biggest beer bong in the world. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is so awesome. You know what this looks like to me? Happiness. I know how happy everybody gets drinking this beer. And it is so cool. So stoked. Let's see if I can find the Tour de Mon uh, vat. Don't tell me where it's at. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. <laughs> Hi, baby. Okay, come to daddy. That's so nice, look at that. That is the coolest thing ever, yes! Wow! That's a big tank, huh? Yeah, you know what, if I was uh, going so, up to Sky So in this Lab, tank we have 12,000 gallons of Ethanol. 12,000 12, gallons. gallons, yeah. And on the oh, other side, wow. we can have up to 24,000 gallons in the other are there any more to the moon tanks here? Check this one out. This is done with you. You go look at some of the other brews. This is Roos Draft. Here's some Maldi. I'm just guessing at this name. Blonde de Chambly. Blonde. Wow, that's an old unibrew. Oh, that's a cool logo. Oh, that's beautiful. And that is a good tasting beer too, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sleeman Original Draft. 
Yeah, because now we're part of the big uh, family, Sleeman and Sapporo as well. So, yep. Yep. Blonde. So we go now and yeah, the mother company, Sapporo. Because after we brew all this beer here, we need to put the beer in reefer. That's a particularity from our brewery because we do uh, Belgian style refermented L. So right. here is the warm room, which you feel it's more like a a cold room here, but you know, in the summer, but in the winter, we here we have monitored temperature continuously, and we have kegs and bottles. It's all in refermentation process. It's to convert all the sugars in carbon dioxide. So that's where the carbonation in the beer of sugar. Thanks, Jerry. That's a pleasure. That was awesome information. Okay, where are we going next? You want to show me that other tanker that had 24,000 gallons in it? Or is that <laughs> no, nearby? No, we've already been there. So. Ah, okay, then never mind. Yeah. But um, we have the... Uh... Hey, none of these kegs have shipped to Dave Mustaine's house written on the front of them. What's up with that? Yeah, we will have to find where we have the uh, Tulemon kegs. I, we, we have the uh, Tulemon bottles. He thinks I'm serious. I was just kidding, but... I won't say anything. Nothing better than having a keg of a tuna moon sent to your house. Hello, see you later. Au revoir, bye bye. <laughs> That's our team here. All of my Unibrew brothers and sisters working hard to bring you the best. Look at all that tuna moon beer. So this beer is in the process. That's so beautiful. Holy cow. Come on, baby. Boy, you could have a party in this place, oh, man. I'll yeah. tell you what. It could keep you awake for a while, yeah. Or Definitely. put you asleep for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and the good thing about it is that it all tastes so, so good. What's that? That's the uh, vintage ale going to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it, that's we do, awesome. We do that once a year. You guys so. see that? Trader Joe's has vintage ale. Il y en a dans la carte. Okay. On peut montrer l'autre côté de bord l'autre. We have some more in uh, another tank that he identified A4. Cool. Let's go. That's that's, cool. that's the big one. You Let's know? see. That's the big one. That one is uh, twenty-four thousand gallons. That's awesome. But you will not see. Normally, you don't get to see the uh, the overall tank from the inside. So from the other side, you see the uh, the outside of the tank from the overpass. You'll just see the cone inside. You see, right? You guys having fun? <laughs> Anybody there? Anybody? Yep, yeah. sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, there you are. I thought you guys stopped. Come on. Right. Maybe it's just cool yeah. too. Look at this. <laughs> This yeah, really those are cool. rum and cognac barrels. Did you ever get your ones you were looking I, for? I aged the 17 Grand Reserve first for five months and then I... And the beer study makes you guys, you should definitely surf around the Unibrew site and see if there's anything. So, I think uh, it's time to goodbye to the folks there. Oh, hey, you guys, let's uh, say bye, Jerry. I hope you enjoyed the tour. That was uh, very improvised for this It was, least. wasn't it? To talk about I didn't years. expect that, so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, okay? Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Keep drinking at Tulemo. Yeah, sorry, you guys, but I love Jerry, and I know you do too, so I just wanted you to see what was going on here. All right, love I'll you, check brother. Check back in with you later. You too. <laughs> So that was life, right?